Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. I hope you're all having a really nice long weekend and that you've been enjoying the weather. I know the weather's not as great at the moment but it, we've had some good days. I so hope you've all been enjoying that. I had a bit of a nightmare today because I was literally setting up to film, opened up my tripod and like one of the legs flew off and it like broke into pieces. So that wasn't great. Um, but thank you all so much for joining me today. Today I'm doing another Mail Monday because I know that some of you guys enjoyed the last week's one and asked to see a few more. Also, quick note, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, particularly on Instagram, please do follow me. If you don't already subscribe, then please hit the button down below. I feel like this week's products, they're not all that exciting, but I still hope you enjoy it. I'm going to start with Wella Shockwave because they're doing a bit of a collab with Baywatch, so it's like very apt for the moment, I guess. I haven't seen the film yet. Is it out yet? I'm not sure, but I definitely want to see it. There's Moose and Hairspray. They're all hold five, which is like super, super, super hold. In my opinion, the mousse is just too much hold. But the hairspray I do actually quite like. Um, not necessarily my favourite hairspray, it's slightly sticky because it has so much hold to it, but I do still really like it. Then if you're lazy like I am, I bloody hate moisturising, but since it is summer, or it's spring, but coming up to summer, um, and we need to keep my skin hydrated, my legs are, well my whole body's so dry at the moment because I've got a bit of a tan, and I think naturally the sun dries you out. And I don't really peel, but my skin goes really dry and it kind of sheds that way um, and yesterday I had my legs out and my cousins, my cousin asked me if I had cream on my knees because my knees were so white because it was so dry and I realised that's so bad but honestly I'm just lazy. If you're like me then I would really recommend the Soap and Glory Spritz Me Quick Super Hydrate Moisture Mist. It's literally um, a moisturiser with a spray. I like the packaging because it's a soft bottle, not too heavy um, and I was walking down the street today and Mike was like, oh, you smell nice. And I'm like, mm, smell my arm. It's it's my body cream. And it was this, so it kind of works as a bit of a body cream and a bit of a perfume scent. Um, it's not too heavy either, I don't think. I think if you laid something on top, you would be fine. Oh, and the scent is the original pink scent from Soap and Glory. I really, really like that. Um, then from Zoeva there's a new palette, this is called the Rose Golden. Um, I've got some new brushes from them but I don't think they're like new out, I think they're just new to me. But this palette is absolutely beautiful. It's a palette I probably wouldn't use by itself, I would probably mix it with some other products. But they're really nice like all over colours, they're just completely my cup of tea, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Can you see those? They are really, really nice. It's not too heavy either, because I think it's really easy to think that we need really pigmented um, eyeshadows, but sometimes they're a little bit harder to work with. So sometimes um, you want like a bit of a medium, um, buildable coverage in your shadows. I absolutely love this works, and two of my favourite products have kind of been a little bit upgraded. The first is the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray, which is just the original one, but it comes in this massive bottle. And this is... Um, it's a limited edition, I think it's part of their like golden sleep range, something like that. I'll link it down below, it is limited edition but they release them quite often in this size. But um, if you are a fan then I think they're a little bit cheaper like this, so definitely pick one up. And then if you love perfect legs like I do, then they've combined it with um, some SPF. So I guess you could use it in the sun, my only issue is you couldn't really go in the water with it. So just bear that in mind, but if you're going to be out at like a festival or something like that and this is perfect because it's SPF 30 UVA and UVB protection and it will give you a little bit of a glow and I think a slight bit of coverage as well so this is my arm and then it comes out like that and then you just blend that in it is slightly shimmery don't know if you can see there's not like a huge difference but there's just like a a nice glow um, you're going to want to be a little bit careful whilst it's drying, but still great for the summer, I think. Um, Perfect Legs is just a great product. It's kind of like Vita Liberata. What's it called? Oh, what's that leg product called from Vita Liberata? I can't remember, but it's like a lighter version and a bit more like glowy, I think. I do love Vita Liberata, but I think sometimes it's a bit much, especially especially for like festivals or um, like summer daytime. Um, it comes in a little pouch, so it's quite easy to pack as well. New from Aveda is two masks. There's a radiant skin refiner and then an intense hydrating mask. And um, this is from the Botanical Kinetics range. And I believe they are face ones. I always think of Aveda and hair rather than Aveda and skin, but it's it is a skin one. Oh, I like this one. What's this one? It's a skin radiance refiner because it's got a bit of like grit to it, and I I like a bit of exfoliation. I'm not gonna 
like oh i'm not sure about this one this one is the intense hydrating mask oh actually you no know, might be quite nice as well i'm gonna give these a go and report back soon but i suspect i'm going to love the radiant skin refiner then on to burberry and actually these this doesn't even come in proper packaging yet because these are brand new these are called full brows and they're from burberry like i mentioned and they're kind of like the suku um brushes so they're just like a little really thin brush that you can use on your brows really light in color this one is actually very light in color what color is this this one is oh this one is sepia but that's like a light brown it's too light for me i would say and then this one here is oh and then we've got a cat eyeliner so the brown one's going to be a bit too light for me sadly but the brush looks incredible especially if you like to draw in thin little hairs and then this is the liner which has got a similar brush or the same sort of brush and looks incredible as well I'm not sure if it's going to be that pigmented but you can draw really fine lines which is nice i went to the debenhams press day this week and i discovered a new brand which apparently is really big i think it's the biggest lip gloss seller in american sephora so i probably should have heard of this brand by now but i don't know it i've never been to american sephora so that probably explains a lot and it's called buxom um, and it's available in debenhams in the uk i don't know if it's already available but if it's not already available it will be available soon and i got one of their lip glosses in sandy and i've actually got a little bit of this on it seems really nice and obviously the fact that they're a bestseller makes me really want to try them oh they tingle a little bit I didn't realise that earlier, um, but I do quite like this colour. It's the colour Sandy, and I'm excited to kind of try a few more products from their range. Then there's a couple more things to talk about. Um, Garnier has a new honey range, which is called Nourishing Honey Flower, something along those lines. Um, there is a toner, which to be honest, I probably won't use because who has time for toners? I'm not sure that I do. Then there is a gel wash, which kind of makes me a bit nervous because it's a gel and typically they tend to be a bit stripping, but it's for dry to very dry skin and I have dry to very dry skin. So I think maybe it could be quite good. I'm going to give this a go. I love the pump. I think it's great. And I really need to find some more amazing um, drugstore skincare. Like I'm sure it's out there. I just get so tempted to use high end. And then this is the cleansing milk. Oh, I hadn't realised this is a cleanser. This sounds nice. Kind of got that Garnier smell, which I like, but I'm not sure if I really want it in my skincare. I like it in like, my body care. It is also a little bit mixed with the Soap and Glory, so maybe my smell's a bit off. And finally, some really inexpensive products to talk about are from Primark. Firstly, these brushes. How amazing do these look? These are the mermaid brushes, which I think are £10. And I'm not going to say that they're the best quality ever, I also haven't tried them, but they are incredibly beautiful. And if you are on a budget, these are super duper cheap. And I think they're particularly good for liquid products. So this one could be quite nice for like concealer um, and this one here for foundation, obviously. Um, I just, because they're all synthetic, I think that especially cheaper synthetic ones work a little bit better with liquid products. Not sure how they shed or anything like that. And apparently they have unicorn versions as well. Ooh, but they are super cute. And then I'm hoping to use these in the video soon. These are like a few little bits from their Festival Prism range or Mermaid Prism. Something along those lines. Something Prism, because I remember thinking the word was Prism at first. Um, and they have this kind of face glue and glitter set which is super cute and only three pounds and you get three different glitters and I think would be perfect for a, um, a festival look. And then also these Rainbow Tears face gems which are just pound fifty, and you could use the, this face glue to kind of attach these. Um, and I just think that especially for the price they are so good and I'm gonna, I'm kind of like thinking of a little look to do with these and I'm hoping to do a festival look very soon. That's the end of this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, I'll try and link everything down below. I hope you all had a very nice long weekend. I guess if you're not in the UK then maybe you're not having Monday off but here in the UK we have got Monday off which is really nice. But let me know what you'd like to see next, I know I promised some of you a Dissium haul when I done my last Instagram live. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram then please do because I'm trying to do more lives and stuff like that. But I shall see you all very soon and have a lovely week. Bye.